So now let us actually create the database and tables to store data in ORC file format. And in this case, in, uh, for uh, storing data in ORC file format, we have to use insert command because our our original data is in text file format and it is already there in uh, uh, dgadraju underscore retail db underscore uh, txt. From there, I want to do the necessary transformation and store the data into whatever file format I want. In this case, it, it is WARC file format. So first, let me create the database. So I'm copy pasting these commands. And then make the necessary changes. The database name is supposed to be ORC. I also have to use use command to switch to that database so that we can start creating the tables. OK, now the database is created and also switch it to database which uh, in which we will create tables to store ORC file format. Now to get the syntax of creating table to the uh, in in it file format, if you go back to the DDL syntax, and if you directly go to this create table uh, uh, section, here we are primarily interested in. Uh, file format and Hive out of the box support text file, RC file, ORC, Parkway, Avro, sequence file, etc. But for uh, this, uh, for the purpose of this uh, uh, discussion, we are using ORC. You can easily replace with Parkway or Avro if you want to use other file formats. Okay. Uh, and uh, except for text file, most of the other file formats actually store metadata as well as data for each and every record. Hence, we don't need to define the delimiter the way we have done for the text file. We just have to use stored as and whatever file format we want to use for ORC, RC file, Parkway, Avro, etc. RC file is uh, outdated. Uh, you, you don't uh, use it uh, further. Uh, it is being uh, replaced with ORC file format, which is much more reliable and much more sophisticated than RC file. Don't get overwhelmed with all these file formats, especially for certification perspective. You don't need to understand internals of these file formats, etc. Only thing you need to understand is all these actually store metadata as well as data for each and every record. Hence, we don't need to defend the delimiter. Apart from that, you don't need to break your head on anything at this time. Okay, so now to create the table, we can use the same syntax up to this point, but we don't need the file format, uh, sorry, the row format, the delimited fields, terminated by, etc. But stored as is mandatory for any file format other than text file. Hence, I have to say ORC. Okay. Same is the case with order items. First, let me create the tables. Stored as ORC. And I can copy paste these two commands and create the tables in ORC file format. And we can also make sure that there is no data in these tables. And then if you need to know the information about your table, like column names, etc., there is a command called describe. If you just say describe and table name, it will just give the column names and data types. But if you want to get to the entire metadata of the table, you can say describe extended or formatted. And I prefer formatted. Formatted is much more readable than extended. Hence, I always use formatted. And here I'm using describe formatted orders. And you can see not only the column names, but also the rest of the metadata. One of the important metadata information is location. So the actual directory, which will be represented for this table in DFS is this one. You can also validate by saying DFS-LS paste 
semicolon and hit enter as of now there is no data hence it is empty and then you can see uh, what is the survey being used what is the input format what is the output format even though we we haven't explicitly mentioned about these things they are inherited based upon the file format we have used as part of stored as so in case if you want to use any custom file format if you go to the syntax you can use input format like this and then you can say what is the input format class name and uh, what is the output format class name and also as part of the row format if you want to give any custom format you have to say uh, row format survey and the survey name in this case survey name can be this one anyway you don't need to worry too much about this at this time but in case if they give you a custom input file format um, uh, you have to make sure that you you use row format survey and give the survey name survey stands for serialization deserialization which is similar to this and then you have to give input format uh, input format class name and uh, output format output format class name okay anyway we don't need to do this at this time now our table is of uh, our table is created with ORC file format but our input data which we copied from local file system into the earlier tables is of type uh, text file format with the comma as delimiter okay so if we have to load any data from local file system into a table which does not match then it's a two step process first you have to stage the data in in its original format into a staging table and then you have to run insert command by selecting data from the table and the way it will look is like this so insert into table table name is orders uh, in, insert into table is mandatory orders and then select star from as we are in the dgazaju retail db oc database and we are trying to read data from this database we can copy paste this database name dot orders okay what will happen is it will actually run um, uh, it, it will actually generate the code to read the data from this table in whatever format the data is stored and do necessary transformation to store the data into this table in whatever format uh, the, uh, using which the table is created so i just have to copy paste this thing to this and it is running if you run this in hive it will run in hive context or map reduce context if you run in spark uh, the same insert command will work without any issues uh, using spark context the execution model will be a bit different but uh, uh, the syntax and also the final output will be same the intermediate processing will be a bit different spark uses spark context uh, our ex execution framework and have users map reduce execution framework okay and now i i also want to insert order items data once the data is loaded let us preview the data let us see how the data uh, how the files are uh, um, created and also we will actually see the data um, by running select query against the table you can see here from the file it is not obvious uh, in which format the data is created but if you try to cat in this file you will see all garbled special characters because the data is uh, um, of ORC file format, which is one of the binary formats. So there is no point in catting these files. Rather, we can actually say select star from orders limit 10 to make sure that data is loaded without any issues. Same is the case with order items. 
So this is how you can actually create uh, tables of whatever file format you want and then uh, copy data from existing tables into the uh, uh, into these advanced file formats using commands such as insert.